Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a speed painting of this picture that I started the other week, I believe it was. And basically, my dad challenged me to do like a Bible character and make him into sort of like a superhero and create like almost like a cinematic universe for Bible characters. So this may be a series I'm gonna do, I don't know, but today I did Moses or uh, Noah. You know the the dude with the ark. So I'm I'm gonna make him like a wizard. So right now I'm just doing some basic sketching to get my ideas on a paper and see what I like and I don't like. So I'm gonna do this a bunch of times. Like the last one, I tried to do more of like an old guy approach. Now I'm doing more of like a battered up, uh, like middle aged guy. But now I'm doing. Uh, sort of a mix in between the two. It's like an old guy and a younger guy. He's got he's got a long beard. But this next guy, this is the guy that clicked, right? I thought I should give him a long beard, and it stuck with me because I'm I was going for the whole wizard aesthetic, and I thought this came out real good. So I, I braided it at the bottom. I thought that looked pretty cool. And I decided on giving him a wizard hat here, which I it looked okay, but I wasn't completely happy with it. So here it's basically like the same thing, but I think I changed like one thing and I did a hood like the first design. All right, my brother's at my door. I swear to God, whatever he's about to do, he's gonna die for it. Maybe I'll cut this out, I don't really know. So I added like a scar on him uh, and the hood. Oh, and I also whited out his eyes because I thought it looked pretty cool. That was a tennis ball on the wall. So now I'm starting to work on the body and this is day two. I'm doing the body now. Um, Originally I had like his hand holding up and it was like uh, Sort of like a water ball like think of a fireball just water But I didn't really know how I would put that on the paper and have it look half decent And then there was a staff in the other hand and this is the idea that's stuck So it's like a staff and I and if you look it's it's the earth I, I thought that looked pretty cool and then in his hand, he's holding a book, which, you know, it, it's the Bible. And then the pages are turning. I thought that looked pretty cool. And now I'm giving him a big old robe. And some feet and some sandals. Which, they, they looked okay. I changed them up from the original design a little bit. But those are the two basic sketches. Now I'm moving on to the real thing on the big paper. So I'm doing the face right now, the long beard. So like I said earlier, this might be a series, this might not, uh, could totally be a one time thing. I had a lot of fun doing it, it's a nice like creativity exercise. So I, I'll probably do more in the future, probably not back to back, just space it out a bit. And I'm also working on that uh, Super Metroid speedrun animation. Which, I'm almost done with the storyboards now, and then I'm going to do an animatic, and then I'm going to actually animate it. So, I'm about, like, halfway done. So, I hope to get that done relatively soon. Because the way it looks right now, it looks really cool. And I'm excited for it. So, now I'm just doing the Bible again. I made the staff a lot longer, and I continue to make it longer to go down to his feet. I thought it looked pretty cool. I like the idea of the turning pages. So yeah, uh, the basic sketch is almost done. I decided to do almost like a satchel thing, but like it really didn't turn into much. More just like a design for the undershirt, I guess. 
And now, I thought his legs came out exceptionally well. And the, the, they're really just flip flops, but I thought those came out pretty well. This is also, as you'll see later, I haven't used Copix in like several months at the time of making this video, but I had a lot of fun. I'm going to continue to use them a lot more. And now, um, I'm using, I'm inking it. I'm using a brush, uh, brush pen. I recently started using them mostly because uh, my normal fine liners, they kind of broke. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. I do like the look of it though, because you can vary it really well. So I think it, it bene it's beneficial to learn, and I'm getting better at it every day. <clears throat> I thought his face turned out pretty good for the inking. The eyes look a bit weird, but I'll I'll explain them later. I whited them out because I wanted to have it like it was water in his eyes because he's Noah and this whole scheme of things is kind of like an ark that floated while the earth was flooded. So I thought, give him water eyes. So I did. <laughs> I thought it looked pretty cool, and I gave the earth because, like with the with the tap of this staff on the ground the earth can be flooded instantly or something i don't really know i just like the look of it i figured old guys staff uh great combo so now we're on to the bible and the hands and i did little i guess you could call them spell marks i don't i don't yeah little spell signs um those look pretty cool, but they kind of just look like scribbles later on. But I think the it looks it, it came out all right. I'm happy with it. I'm all around pretty happy with this piece, especially for how long it's actually been since I've used Copix. Now, uh, I did this little medallion. I don't know. I just like the look of it. Doesn't really mean anything. But that that's okay. Take a look. At now on to his legs. Made his legs pretty skinny. I made him all around a pretty fit character because he was, you know, building an arc and he's an old great wizard. At least in this interpretation. I do like the way his feet came out. So now I'm erasing the the pencil mark. And I actually waited, I think it was like a whole day before I started erasing, because basically that was my dog. Basically you don't want to erase in like the same day you ink, at least in my experience, because then it always smudges the ink. So it kind of sucks, and it kind of ruins the whole thing. So yeah, wait a day. So now I am using my Copix to color his skin. I thought the skin came out pretty well. I'm, I'm all around pretty happy with this shading. Oh, uh, there's his hands. The other hand. I The way I color with Copix, I go like skin tones all around and then something else. Because I don't, I don't know. It, it's just the way I, I'm most comfortable with it. I like it. Like chunking it up. That's also how my layers go on Photoshop. I've been mostly a digital artist as of right now, but like I said, I got more into Copix. I do need to get more refills though. I'm really low because I got some new colors for my birthday and such, and I'm out. So now we're going on to the hood. Er, those, those are his eyes with the white out i thought that came out really well probably maybe a bit too much white out but oh well so now his beard i like the look of the beard i used a really bright gray and some colorless blender i'm, I'm pretty happy with that 
Uh, I gave him a bit of hair at the top. I don't know. I thought it, it would fit the personality pretty well. Um, now the hood in a bit. I'm gonna be doing the hood soon. There it is. I decided to go with a lot of like purples, greens, and blues. I, I like the look of it. And that's my dog. That's Louie. He, he was barking. Basically that day it was just me, my dad, and Louie at home. And he was following me around all day. I actually had to pause the recording and take him out. Which it was fun. We, we played a bit. But now I'm doing the robe. I did a nice blue and I blended it with this sort of greenish color. Like this muted green. I really like the way that blended. I wanted to do a, like a more bright blue as a sort of mid-tone, but it was out of ink. So, and I don't have the refills, that's like what I said. So the undershirt, I did like a green tunic, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. I was just, just like the look of it. But I tried to mute it, like the colors a lot, because I thought that would look the best. Because I, I, I also didn't want it to pop out a whole lot either. <clears throat> Onto the book. Or the pages. I like the way the pages are like almost yellowed and dirty. And then I, I did like a blue outline. And then used some colorless blender to make it like floating almost. Sort of like magic spells. I guess if you will. Oh also... Let me know what you guys think I can improve, whether it be drawing, camera angles, or anything. But I I want to improve. Just in the future, to make my videos better. So this is going to be coming to an end soon. I had a lot of fun making this. Like I said, maybe more, maybe not. Probably more. It's looking to the more side, but I've got quite a bit of other stuff to do. So... Thank you all, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.